What is up guys, Robeats here, and I know the lighting's awful, but I just wanted to go ahead and make a video. Hold on. There we go. That's better lighting. I have a very important video that I want to get out to the world if I can actually get my camera set up. <laughs> Return of the old Robeats returns. Um, Cosmo will be editing this, so... <sighs> The Fallen Angel album has concluded, and 12 songs in each album, Rules Break Easy and The Fallen Angel. I hope you guys enjoy them, even though I know that they're not perfect. And uh, eventually I'll be recording actually in a studio with my next album called Apologies. Um, this next album will be personal. And more of a story about me. So why I started music. I really want to tell you guys. And I, I want to know why. I want you guys to know on my Rollbeats channel why you guys should go support Rules Break Easy. I started music after Kathy broke up with me and then betrayed me. Because if I wouldn't have started music, I would have killed myself. Alright, hello, it's Cosmo the Editor here. I'm sorry for kind of ruining the video right here, but right when he said that then, something just made me pause the video and stop editing. That like just hit me so hard. And it made me see Christian in such a different way. Not like a bad way. But, like, it made me see him in such a different way and I don't think I can unsee that it's not a bad thing it's like really hard to explain it's like really shocked oh, I'm sorry um I've never told anybody this but honestly I just wanted to die after she broke up with me because I thought our relationship was real and I'm sure everyone around me you know it, they thought I, it was real too and so they were just as surprised as I was whenever she turned out to be this whatever she was. Because she betrayed me. She was sleeping with her ex. She... I need to be honest with my emotions. I would have killed myself if it wasn't for Rules Break Easy. If it wasn't for my friends talking to me. If it wasn't for me being on antidepressants, I would have killed myself. Because I was at that point where my life was meaningless. To, at least for what I've seen, I thought my life was meaningless. And I had fallen off of YouTube. I was really broken hearted, and I still am to this day. I mean, I know it's only been about three months, but or two and a half. It still hurts, like the first day she broke up with me. I actually bought this to show that I'm broken, you know, and I don't know why, I just, I always get myself hurt because I keep on talking to girls, and I keep on rushing into, you know, asking them if they want to go out with me because, I don't know, I don't like being alone, and I guess, and subconsciously I think if I'm in a relationship it's going to make it, you know, less, but I really wasn't having suicidal thoughts. I was more of, more or less saying, I want to die. I honestly don't want to wake up. That's where my mind was. I was saying to myself that I did not want to wake up. If I, if I couldn't be beside her, if she wasn't going to be in my life, I didn't want to, you know, I, I just didn't want to wake up. And I catch myself thinking about the good times, and I have a lot of repressed memories, because they hurt too much to bear. I just started watching some of my older videos, and honestly, I was a lot deep back then. And I'm actually starting to listen to my own advice. Tips of moving on. Honestly, I'm smart. I, I, list, I just listen to myself give me advice in the future. That is the trippiest feeling ever. I was not okay when Kathy broke up with me. Whenever I made that end of the story vlog, I was just... I was just in denial, I guess. 
it really hit me after I made that video because I cried in my sister's arms loudly and openly and no, no, no one knows how I actually feel because I feel like it's either too stupid or I feel like no one cares like no one actually cares but I don't know I feel like I lost a little bit of myself whenever Kathy broke up with me because I was so happy and I've never really felt happy before you know I've always had like I said I've always had depression so I mean I've never felt happy not since my uncle got in that wreck I think that's what triggered my depression or maybe that was just maybe one of the largest causes my uncle got into an accident and that triggered my depression and ever since that one fateful day I have not felt happy you know internally I've never felt happy I mean I've had brief periods where I was but it all just faded away and then Kathy came along and she made my life so much better turns out that she was the one who would make my life one of the most miserable experiences ever I know I'm only 17 but people keep on telling me this I'm 17 I'm 17 I'm like yeah that just means I'm gonna have to spend more years alone more years with these dark and twisted thoughts inside of my head I haven't had the best track record with women I thought Kathy was different because honestly I don't even really think that I'm attractive you know I've always looked at myself and I've never really seen myself as attractive I always thought I was inadequate in any shape or form I always thought I was inadequate whether it be you know physically you know or like if it came to like soul and baggage and stuff like that I always thought I was not enough but then this girl comes along stays in my life for a year then ends up breaking me worse than any other human being on this earth has ever hurt me Kathy has hurt me the most that anyone ever has and that's saying something because I've had a knife up to my throat with someone ready to ready just to slit it and just end my entire life Kathy hurt me worse than that. I'm going to say this. The fear for my life being ended was nothing compared to the fear of losing someone that I actually gave everything to. And now I just feel like I can't do that with anyone. I, I'm talking to a camera because I'm scared. I'm scared of this life. I'm scared of me. I mean, who wouldn't be? If it wasn't for Rules Break Easy, I don't know where I would be. I'm trying my best to make music and make it to where you guys like it. Even though when I listen to it, I hate my own music. Like, I always find flaws in my own music and it's just, and it, it makes it hard for me to enjoy it. I'm honestly going to be making some explaining the lyrics videos, you know, behind it all. But, honestly... I'm not okay, and that's why I made that song. And I don't think anyone really can be. You know, in this life. I want a relationship that lasts. I want a girl who honestly loves me for me. You know, not for my body, not for, you know, my money. Not because I can give them something. I just... The only thing I want them to want from me is my heart. That's honestly all I want. Is that too much to ask? Can I not get a girl who actually loves me because they love me? Because I've been hurt so many times. I've been abused. I hurt myself mentally whenever I think about these things. So many memories of me and Kathy just keep on coming back. I don't want to remember them, but I have to. Like it or not, she was a part of my life. I can't just erase her. Even though she erased me. I wear this as a sign of forgiveness. You guys probably saw it in a couple of my videos, but my mom gave me this. When she gave me this, 
I love I loved it. I immediately loved it. Cuz she got me something that I actually, you know, I like and I care about and and I wear this to show I'm broken, but this is a sign of forgiveness. I wear it every single day until I forgive until I forgive myself. I will not take it off until I forgive myself. And I will not take this off until my heart is complete. It's just so hard to talk about this stuff to a human being because I feel like no one really cares. Because I honestly, I've been shot down my entire life. Whenever I would get emotional, Whenever I would talk about certain things, I would just get shot down. So YouTube and music have always been my my outlet. I'm very, very broken and depressed. I can't explain how many nights I just walked outside and just bawled and cried into my own hands unknowing of what I want to do with my life because honestly I feel like I messed my life up I gave it all to a girl I gave my entire life my future I gave it all to her I was living my life to live with her one day to be close to her I guess that teaches me how to give my heart. Gotta be weary in this world. I thought she was a gift from God. I honestly did. I guess that's not true. I don't even know why I'm still hurt. I think I just, I don't know where to go from here. And I think that's what scares me the most. I've always had a plan. I've always had a, you know, something in my head of where I wanted to go. But now that I just feel like, you know, it's what what more is there. But I know that's unhealthy, and I I am working on it. I I'm I some days I just I don't even want to leave work. I don't even want to leave work some days because when I come home, all I feel is this crippling loneliness. I can't sleep in my room because the memories make me have panic attacks. The, the fact that I have no one by my side anymore. The fact that someone lied to me for that long, told me that they would always be here and left just like the rest. I just don't like people leaving me. I guess I just blame myself. A lot of times I, I don't need to, but I just do. I just, I have no idea who I am, if any of this is worth it. I mean, I guess that's life, huh? The constant questioning whether you're doing is right or wrong. <laughs> whether you're going down the right path. <sighs> Kathy made me feel whole. And now I have to find out how to make myself feel whole without anyone. Because <laughs> in this immediate moment, no girl wants to be with me. Honestly, some days I just don't blame it. I am the greatest guy I can possibly be. I guess I just need to wait for someone special. 
I'm not sure if I believe in love or, or if I gave up on it. Either way, it doesn't change how much I hurt. <laughs> this has been my late night confession. Just let me know you guys are here. I'm sorry I got all emotional, but all of this needed to be said. This is the truth. My late night confession. Thank you guys for watching.